you know, there's nothing like just walking in a garden that got overgrown because the weather decided to have sun for three days in a row. Let me see how great growth is today. That's been the norm for the last while, which, you know, okay, whatever. But, you know, it's, it's interesting just how much a um, couple of days of sun will do to a uh, what had been basically dead and dying garden. What we're doing right now, chat, as you can tell by this big old pile of stuff, is we're getting this stuff and we're putting it into the compost bin. So might as well just take you in on a day of taking crap and throwing it in the compost bin. Figure make a video out of it. Um, tonight, I'm probably going to be playing some, um, probably Need for Speed Underground, the original. So I was having a good time on my PS2. I uh, did pretty good in the Peugeot 206. I, uh, I think the only thing I have left to do, just for the start, with that Peugeot 206 is, um, if I remember right, getting all sorts of, um, you're getting that, no, not that, getting the knockout race finished, and then I gotta do some upgrades. I'm thinking probably once I get that last race, get that knockout race, then it'll probably unlock a whole bunch of stuff, but I've never really dove too far into Need for Speed Underground. But then I might just end up doing, um, actually... Midnight Club 2, because I was also playing that last night, for those of you guys who missed the stream before I deleted it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, there's a whole bunch of crap Ugh, gonna happen tonight. I say crap, but, yeah. Tomorrow I'm thinking, watch a movie, make a review of it. Just, uh, getting this pile a little better. So, I'm thinking, uh, tonight, either Need for Speed Underground or Midnight Club 2, or I might just end up saying screw it and playing some Seven Days like I'd been planning to, but it's like, there's so many good games out there, both new and old, that it's like, oh, I almost tripped over a bucket there. It's like, you know, all these really fun games, and it's like I never have the friggin' time all right, just uh, look at how small the pile is now, huh? I think we did pretty good. All right, stuck, Danny. Okay, one big ass pile. Yeah, I, like I said, a couple days and this fucker overgrew. You may have thought I was kidding, but nah, this some bitch is seriously, seriously overgrown just from two or three days of sun. And now we're back to the uh, gray, gross, disgusting, which you know, okay, whatever. You get used to it. It's nice though to be able to just come out and connect with nature. I mean, oh shit. <laughs> A little bit of crap on my hands from that. Not the first time. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Only, I think, two or three more trips. That's more just to make sure there's no loose stuff that I missed. Okay, so how's your day been, guys? Hopefully, pretty good. I really need to get a, a gym membership, but the nearest gym is an hour away. Which, you know, it sucks, but it is what it is. I don't think with these 
That might be the last of it. Obviously, I'm going to go back and check, but still. Had to, uh, for those of you guys wondering what I'm out here doing, just uh, clearing up the old pea plants because they seem to have crossed, uh, crossbred with, uh, I think, some vetch. Because, like, the small ones, like the really small peas, are really too small to do anything with in the pods. Really, really good. But then the big ones, really, really bad. Woody, fibrous, like, you know, with uh, some wood chat, how you, if you, um, like, get it wet, it'll uh, kind of just disintegrate into the fibers. That was the uh, texture, that nasty fibrous. Which, I mean, it's a fascinating texture, but a terrible thing for peas. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later. Love you guys.